Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Discovering Psychology. I'm your host, Sterling, and here along with me is Big Doug. Thanks, Sterling. Today we'll be learning about hypnosis. Now, what exactly is hypnosis? Hypnosis is a social interaction in which one person, the hypnotist, suggests to another, the subject, that certain perceptions, feelings, thoughts, or behaviors will spontaneously occur. Sounds pretty cool. So can anyone be hypnotized, or are only certain people able to? Experts agree that the power of hypnosis resides in the subject's openness to suggestion. Nearly everyone is suggestible, just some more so than others. Let's see an example of this. Sit back and relax. Now, gaze at a high spot on the wall, and let your attention focus there. Your eyes are growing tired. Your eyelids are becoming heavy. Now heavier and heavier. They're beginning to close. You're becoming deeply relaxed. Your breathing is deep and regular. Your muscles are becoming more and more relaxed. Your body is beginning to feel like lead. Now, your eyelids are shut so tight that you couldn't even open them if you tried. Now, let your breathing stay regular, and I will give you two fragrances to sample. The first is a very fine French cologne, and I want you to smell it, breathe deeply, and tell me if you would wear this to a party. What do you think of this smell? I'd wear it to a party. It's average. Average right. scent. Now this is a very expensive Cologne. Tell me what you think of this one. Oh, fantastic! I'd wear that any day! Alright. I'm out of your hypnosis. This is the first scent I gave you. What do you think? Oh! oh what is that? That was horrible! Now, this is the very good one that you said you were in love with. Oh, even worse! Oh! Just, get that out of my face! Get it oh. Wow, that was so cool! Now, let's talk about how hypnosis can be used to force people against their will. Researchers have found that people can be induced to perform potentially dangerous tasks when hypnotized. However, studies show that an authoritative person in a legitimate context can induce people hypnotized or not, to perform unlikely acts. Would you ever go streaking, Mr. Hancock? You kidding? Oh! How would you ever think something like that? Now that I have you in my hypnotized trance, I want you to take your clothes off and go streak! We've seen how hypnosis can affect a person's senses, as well as have them go against their will. Hey, I've heard that when hypnotized, hypnosis can alleviate pain. Is this true? Yes, hypnosis can relieve pain to some extent. How is this? One theory is that through dissociation, a split between different levels of consciousness, hypnosis dissociates the sensation of the pain from the emotional suffering of our experience of pain. Therefore, the person does feel the pain, but not the emotion of it and the result is it isn't very painful. Another theory is that the pain relief results from selective attention, like when someone with a lot of adrenaline doesn't really notice little scrapes until after the adrenaline has worn off. Let's see how hypnosis can help alleviate pain. Your mom was so bad when she sat on a rainbow, skittles popped out. You did not say that about my mama. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, 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 my God. God. and how it condoles one's senses, have someone act against their will, and relieve pain. 
And until next time on Discovering Psychology, from Sterling Hancock and Big Doug, so long for now. So long!